Hello. I always feel so odd starting my videos. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. 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 Oh. <clears throat> it's a good sign. Jim sent my video to my mom. Okay. Hello. I'm not sure if I should be yelling or not because I have my microphone tonight, so we'll see. Anyway, hey Tammy, how are you? Thank you again for helping me with the jewelry last night. So, <clears throat> sorry guys, I am not all decked out, nor am I wearing all my, you know, normal stuff that I wear to work. Hey Kathy, how are you? Um, and Catherine, how are you? Thank you for joining me. It is November 9th. It is Monday night. We do twilight shopping at your other closet, which means we are behind the scenes and after hours. And we are going to, hey Charlene, um, we are going to show you some of the cool things we just got in. And I would be more organized. I've been checking my videos. Hey Dahlia. <clears throat> um, I've been checking my videos from before, like let's say May, June, July. God, it's been long. It's been about 35 weeks, guys. Anyway, um, some of them were a lot more organized. Lately, I'm just kind of like, oh my God. So Ryan and I had dinner and he's had to prod me going, hey, guess what? You have to be at the shop in 15 minutes. I'm like, well, we can only. Anyway, uh, we are here <clears throat> and luckily, Ann and I had finished some of my stuff up this morning. So we work behind, hello, hello. Um, hey, Vicki, how are you? Um, is it cold by you, Vicki? I would guess it is. It's chilly here. It just got chilly today. Um, anyway, uh, we uh, did some more Christmas. We did a lot more clothing. And uh, I thought I was the one who was allergic to cats, but I think Anne is also allergic to cats. And somehow we got back into it. So both of us were kind of hacking and coughing. Hey, Teresa, how are you? <clears throat> Happy Monday night. <clears throat> anyway. I'm going to show you some Christmas that we finished up. Like I was saying last week, we got it all out. I uh, almost broke Claren. She kept handing her more stuff to try and put out. She's very good at displaying it all, but when it's too much, she's kind of freaks out a little bit. But she maintained it, so that was good. Um, the shop looks great. We have tons of stuff. All of this is on our website, so you guys can shop 24-7. Love the scarf. So is this Melissa, Anne, or Claren? Somebody from the shop is, is logging in. It's always weird because I always think it's supposed to be me. Um, my scarf, yes, is a dog walking scarf, custom made by my mother for me. Yay! Um, anyway, it's chilly tonight, so I needed a scarf. Um, we're gonna do some Christmas, and if you guys have any questions <coughs> or something you wanna see specifically, let me know. But I am on a whole bunch of allergy pills because Ann and I got into some cat stuff, I think today with some of this clothing and um, it got to us after a while. And I am here after hours and I'm not sure how long my video will be, but I'll show you some of the Christmas. Christmas is all out, it is all online. It is yourothercloset.com, you can shop there. Um, I get this really cool little ring on my phone that goes kutching, it really says kutching and I get excited and then we pull all your stuff and if you're a local we will have it ready for you anytime you come in or you pull up to our curb and we'll take it to you. If you are not local we can ship to you. Um, if you're not sure give us a buzz and we will work out something with you. I know locally also we are working on all of us getting together and figuring out how to deliver to you so in case you cannot get out of the house or you're busy working and are after you can't get to us during our hours that we're open, we will arrange for us to uh, deliver to you. Hey, Ann, how are you? Um, okay, so we have some Christmas stuff. I'm gonna move this as we go. And um, one of the first things, we had a lot of Santas. So if you haven't seen it before, you should go back on to some of my videos earlier or even check just online. And we have oodles of Santas. We have figurines that are just regular Santas, but like a lot of sports figure Santas, which I've never seen before. And we have Irish Santas, a lot of those. We also have a set that are um, collectibles and they're higher priced, but they are collectibles and we have their original boxes and they're gorgeous and we have those. But 
We just got another Santa in, and this one's kind of unique because it's blue and white, and you don't really see that many blue and white ones. It's by a company called Lincolnshire. It's about 16 inches tall. It is probably resin. Um, I don't think it's ceramic. And he has glitter all over him. <laughs> the whole shop has glitter all over us because we did a bunch of ornaments today that were covered in glitter. And they have two little kids who have carol books, and then we have the lantern, and then he has his bag, and his bag has all kinds of stuff in it. Um, this one's on my web, just got it there. We have his original box as well. I know some people who collect like to make sure they have the boxes. Um, we have another Santa, but he's kind of vintage. Will you call him a plush Santa? He can be straightened out. Um, he's definitely vintage. His you know, he's got a little age on him. He's about nine inches, 10 inches tall. And we've got him in there as well, plush. Oh, hey Valerie, how are you? Um, let's see, otherwise with Santas, we have one that is carved wood. This one's kind of cool. It's from an artist in um, T. Harris. No, is that right? I think so, Corrales, sorry. And this one is just a carved piece of wood that's painted. It's kind of rustic looking and it's a Santa. It's about seven inches tall. And the other Santa we have, and this one's kind of heavy. Um, it's interesting. It's a painted Santa, but he has then a piece of artificial tree with him. Kind of cool. Um, very different, not seen one of these before. He's about nine inches tall. We also have, um, Along the lines of the Corrales artist, we have another piece by her. And we had one before that was like a Santa that looked like the shape of a moon. And this one says, uh, peace on earth. So it's a lamb and it's a lion. And it's carved wood and painted, rustic style. Again, all these are on my website. Sorry if I keep backing out. Um, these are different. They're vintage. And it's three carol carolers. So it's an adult woman, adult man, and then like a little kid. And they're paper mache. So the little boy's about three inches and these are about five inches, but they're paper mache carolers. Different, I've not seen these before. Kind of interesting. Let's see, sorry, I have a two tier table and it helps me to move stuff out of the way. Um, we have oodles of baskets, had a whole estate that had a million baskets. They're everywhere all over the shop. We also have an entire estate of Longerberg baskets. Um, so everything from just a rustic basket to an actual Longerberger basket that has two different linings and special medallions on them and everything else. They're all online, but you can see them here at the shop. This basket, it's kind of like a grayish green, maybe tannish green, and it is um, a sleigh. So be neat to make a little arrangement in it. Um, we have potpourri. We're not sure about this, but we have it. It's new. It's never been used, never been opened. It's very pretty. Pine cones will look great in front of a fireplace or maybe if you're doing a display. It smells good. It's cinnamon. We have um, a piece that is quilted. It is designed to be hung, so it has two little hooks so you can hang it up. It's two-sided, so there's paisley on the back. Um, and these are trees in a house, and it has the card on it, actually, of the artist, which is Marsh, Marcy mm -hmm, Birschbach, done in T. Harris. This is the piece that I was thinking of. And it's online as well. I think it's 16 by 14, I can't remember. I should be better prepared than this, huh? I am not getting a job with QVC. <laughs> oh well, anyway. <laughs> we have two pillar candles. These are pretty. Um, they have like a little wooden um, Christmas tree on them and they are green that fades into um, white or cream by Pier One and they're fresh balsam. You would wonder if you have an allergy like I do to cedar if this would ever bug you. I don't know. But we have two of these, and they're online. They smell good. Um, <clears throat> so Anne and I get a little weird. Well, we all get a little weird. All four of us, Claire and Anne and Melissa and I. Um, I'm definitely speaking for myself. And hey, Sarah, how are you? Um, we get a little strange, and then we start getting a little fruity, and then we start a little giggling about all kinds of stuff. Um, 
So <laughs> we got a bell. It's a Christmas tree bell. It sounds like a cowbell. It's not the bell you would think you have for Christmas where it's like ringing everybody for dinner or something like that. So we're not quite sure about it, but you might like bells. You might like metal art, who knows? But for us, it just sent us over the edge this afternoon. So, see, it sounds like a cowbell, doesn't it? Not exactly the clinking of normal Christmas noise or anything. <laughs> yes, Melissa, you do get weird. Anyway, um, it's interesting. We're, it, it takes everything for decor, right? And so we have this, it's a metal Christmas tree bell. Um, could be yours. Maybe you have a big yard and you need a cowbell. Who knows? We do have Christmas skirts, tree skirts. We have a handful of them. A few are handmade. This one's by Bella Lux. I have it inside out. Let me flip it over. I didn't want to get it dirty. But uh, it's 48 inches in diameter. It is kind of, it's not quilted, but it's padded. Um, and I'm going to show you a little bit closer. But... <laughs> It's a Grinch bell. It could be a Grinch bell. Who knows? Um, this is got a, oh, I don't even know the name of the material. My mother would totally know what it was and I don't. Um, ugh, I can't think of it. It's, it's really pretty shine. And then it has the beaded work that's kind of done filigree style. And it is gorgeous. Company called Bella Lux, 50, 48 inches diameter if you need a tree skirt. And we have several others. We also have uh, aprons. We have table runners couple of placemats so some linens that we're collecting um, we have this other cool thing it's a um, mid-century modern mid-century I totally know it's vintage um, cocktail set it has five glasses because the family did admit that they had broken one but it has a gold three-dimensional Christmas tree on it these things are crazy busy, like expensive when you look for them. Um, it is not stamped. So um, we were thinking it looks a lot like a Culver's, um, but we can't be certain. And I cannot tell you what kind of metal this is, but it's kind of like a filigree tree. Um, it comes with the stir stick, which is unusual because usually the stir stick's what disappears. And the stir stick's actually metal, kind of crazy, but it matches the tree. And then it has five glasses, not six, unfortunately. And these, she called them martini. I don't think they're martini. I just think they're cocktail. Um, they're heavily weighted on the bottom. It's really nice glass and they're very pretty. So they're not the um, bubble glasses that Culver is known for, um, but it's kind of like a footed bubble glass. It's very interesting, but they're beautiful. And that set's available. Then the same family had the 12 days of Christmas china plates with a jeep collect we have the original boxes so if you are a true collector and you need to have the original box we have them for you they are dated they are by um royal grafton they are fine bone china the 12 days of christmas they go over quite span quite a few years because the family must have um purchased them like through the 70s and the 80s but we do have all the original boxes so we have like um this one is two turtle doves and they're beautiful. So they have a gold trim rim, then they have the Christmas holly and then they have the image of whatever day it is. And they're all very pretty, very, to me, very British. But <laughs> as we were going through these, we thought we knew the song, um, but there's a couple in here. Hey Lisa, how are you? That, we're like, that doesn't match the song. So we either, as Americans, totally screwed up the song, um, or the British have changed the song. We're not sure. Anyway, uh, this one, like, um, Seven Swans is swimming. <laughs> uh, Anne said six of them are swimming and one of them is just taking a rest. So we're not sure about that one. This one, okay, so this is the one that totally kind of confused us. So you usually sing for calling birds. This is for Bali birds, B-O-L-L-Y, like holly with a B. And we are confused by it. We looked it up, you can find Bali, but I, yeah, we found it as B-A-L-I, like the place Bali. Um, so Bali birds instead of calling birds. We are all, you know, as you know, 
industrious women who are intelligent and modern. We always get worried about the eight maids and milking. Never quite sure about that. They're very pretty, but there was one more. Oh, this is the one that pushed Anne over the edge. Um, so if you look at this, it's supposed to be five gold rings. But Anne was confused because it's the first one we opened up. And when you look at it, those rings are huge. So if you were to actually proportion it on a real tree, you'd think, hey, those are pretty large. Hi, Carol, how are you? And um, <laughs> so Anne started giggling because she couldn't figure out why they had gold watches. Then she finally read it. And instead of gold rings, she thought it was five gold watches. And then of course we had to go down the whole rabbit hole about who would have five gold watches on their tree. And we went through the whole thing. Um, hi, Viola. Anyway, um, it's five gold rings, not five gold watches. But for us, you know, it made us look giggle. So we were having a good time. So we have that. Now I don't normally take the collector plates, but it is Christmas. So we did get them all out there. Um, we have three French hens. Of course, they're British China. So you're like, why do you have French hens? But it's part of the song. And these French hens do not look happy. They do not look happy at all. Maybe because they're about to be eaten. I don't know. Um, the partridge in the pear tree. We thought this one was a different because Lords of Leaping looks more like a cartoon than the artwork that's on the other plates. So we have the Lords of Leaping. We're not sure why they leap. Does anybody know why they leap? We don't know why they leap. Anyway, we have Lords of Leaping. They are very colorful, but they don't look like the artwork of the birds. Again, we don't know why we have Bali birds instead of calling birds. Anyway, um, we also have the drummers drumming. Very colorful, and Piper's Piping, very colorful. Anyway, <clears throat> we have them all. They're all on our website, um, and uh, you can buy them online. And they have the original packaging. You can always come in the shop. If you decide to buy all 12, we can chat with us, and we'll get a hold of the owner and um, help you possibly get some percentage off. Okay, but you'd have to do that in the shop. Can't do that online. And um, Kathy's on here with us. And Kathy, small world, has the coffee pot that goes to our German pottery, the red Christmas, the red pottery that has the Christmas tree on it. And I'm going to show you that. So we now have the coffee pot, the cream and sugar, the cups, which are mugs, and dessert plates, and a few bowls. And I just. Sorry guys, hit you guys all over the place. Sorry, trying not to kill myself. Anyway, let me show you the coffee pot because the coffee pot's kind of cool. Kathy had the top very carefully taped on. We have taken the tape off. We're praying that I don't drop it. Anyway, the coffee pot that goes with all the cups and everything. It's now online. Da 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 beautiful and it matches exactly this pattern that came from a whole different customer but small world we all collect the same things all right let's see and otherwise we have all the lights off and we do have some new furniture and I think I've shown you guys the furniture but I wanted to make sure everybody has seen it we have this really great um, curio cabinet it's about 36 inches tall has glass shelves and we actually right now have it filled with christmas ornaments that are from the white house historical association and the cool thing about these are the ornaments are the ones that were chosen by the current sitting vice uh, president at the time and they'll show you the year that they're highlighting and they all come in their own little boxes and they have their own little information and story about it and why they picked that specific image. Um, but this curry cabinet is beautiful. It's 212. Somebody asked us online about that. And it is 212. It's in great shape. There's one little chip in the veneer, but you could probably get that fixed. Somebody says hi. Oh, it's Melissa that says hi. I can't tell Melissa. It just says you're the closet and I'm more you're the closet. You're you're the closet. So is Claren and Anne. And, and. Uh, <clears throat> the other one that's interesting, <laughs> and Melissa and I had to tweak it a little bit, this beautiful secretary. So it looks like a china cabinet, but it's not. 
I got schooled. Um, it has bubble glass, so this is beautiful bubble glass, and it has the keys so you can open everything up. Um, it has a drop uh, shelf in the here so you can put taller pieces in it. And the um, secretary is actually right here. And I kept not able to put it back in, so I couldn't figure out why it was stuck. So Melissa and I worked on it. We finally realized you can take the organizing part out. So we took it out and we found things that people didn't realize they had lost. <laughs> so people had put mail back here and they had put stamps and they had put address labels and I think there was a notepad or something and we pulled all this stuff out and it wasn't just from the current or the yeah current owner. It was from before the current owner. So we found quite a bit of stuff. It was crazy. So it now works great. It's all beautiful. We got it all back in and it all opens and closes so easy. Um, this piece is 343. It is two pieces. It's 48 inches wide. It's 72 inches tall. It feels like it's bigger than it really is. Um, the sides that look like a drawer is actually storage. So you could put tall books in there, files, things like that. Um, this one's really pretty. And then I keep highlighting this. This set is a love seat and lazy boy recliners. And we know that recliners are a big deal. Everybody's been trying to find them. Um, they're kind of a modern print that's really generic. Well, not generic, neutral. They're very comfy. Yes, I could sit here and fall asleep. So I might do that. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway. Um, the colors are relatively neutral and they go with lots of things and it's not such a crazy pattern that you would have to worry that it wouldn't match like your artwork or maybe another chair you have in the house. Um, it goes with quite a bit. And she also brought in all the little accent pills she bought to make it look nice. So those go with it. Um, and today it got really cold and weird. I thought it was going to get cold-er on Saturday and Sunday. Sunday was gorgeous. Today started off okay, and then by the time Ann and I left today, it was downright chilly, which is why I have my scarf. Um, but we have two very full racks that are full of jackets. We had told our, all our consigners this year that we needed coats and jackets. We're not taking anything too outdated, and we're not taking trench coats because they just don't sell very well. But we have every other jacket known to man, leather, uh, fleece, uh, sweater jackets, big puffy jackets, quilted jackets, Southwest style, modern style, black, solid colors, things like that. So if you need a jacket, you should come by tomorrow or anytime this week. And um, when you purchase from us, we have gotten such great support since April when we um, were closed. Everybody who's a consigner and a customer of ours has been awesome. They pass the word, they tell people about us, they keep bringing us uh, inventory, so we have plenty of inventory. When we start working online with our videos, you guys actually watch me, which is crazy, um, and you pass it along to other people. We've had people bring us furniture because somebody else referred us, which is fabulous, thank you. So we want to, in the month of November and December, help other small, locally owned businesses because we've got great support and we want everybody else to have great support. Now the big box stores, those that have corporate offices somewhere else, have a million different stores. They um, get a little more corporate um, support from us. They have some back, uh, they have money stored away that can help support them when they're not doing so well. And as you guys know, grocery stores and uh, DIY stores have done really well because that was the only thing that was open for so long and people were trying to do projects or stay home or whatever. So small businesses, especially locally owned businesses, have a rough time. And so what we are doing is if you shop in November or December with any other business, it can be your groomer, it could be your hairstylist, it could be um, you had business cards printed, you went to dinner someplace, you got takeout, whatever, you went to the bookstore. If you go anyplace else that's locally owned, bring us your receipt, just show it to us, and we will give you $5 off anything you buy that's $10 or more. Um, it's kind of like getting, if you are a shopper right now, we have a punch card and you fill it up as you shop, we're going to fill it up for you and give it to you because we want to 
share the love that you guys have shown us. So we're passing it along to other shops. Um, and uh, we have our holiday calendar up and ready. That's the days that we are open or closed. Um, we are not doing our Christmas party this year, which stinks, but we can't and we want to keep everybody safe. So we're just going to do special promotions on our Facebook page or um, just through the shop or online. And right now, Melissa is working with vendors that we would have had in the party, um, which are small uh, locally owned uh, craftsmen and artisans. And she's interviewing them and she's going to show those videos on our Facebook page. Hey, Chris, how are you? Um, and she's going to show those videos so you can maybe uh, learn more about them. Uh, they would have been at our party. We would have helped sell their stuff. And she's hoping that maybe you guys can still support them even though we aren't having our party. Um, but our calendar will show you that the Tuesday before things, no, Wednesday before Thanksgiving, we are only open for half a day. Then we close that week end, the long weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, <clears throat> Yep, no box stores. Anyway, we close those four days, which seems totally wrong, but you guys are all shopping somewhere else. You're not shopping with me, and so I need to give Claren and Ann and Melissa a day off. They go shopping, they get their stuff done for Christmas, they get their family time with their friends and family. Um, uh, we take that time off. It's important to me and my family that I have family time. We put our Christmas tree up, right, Brian? We put our Christmas tree up. Ryan said yes. Um, anyway, we take those days off and then we work our tails off all through December. So that will be part of when we are closed. We are then closed the Tuesday before Christmas, I think half a day we open. But hey, Julia, um, if we, we usually do three piece drop offs on Tuesday and the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, we will not because that week we won't be around. So we won't be able to process them. And um, the Tuesday before Christmas, we won't do the, them either. So if you're thinking about dropping off on a Tuesday, which is three pieces that you just kind of randomly find and want to bring in for consignment, um, just kind of remember those Tuesdays or call ahead and ask. If you're trying to drop off furniture or maybe um, nice purses or a pair of boots, give us a call. We do those kind of things as a case-by-case -case basis. Right now, we aren't doing a lot of decor unless it's just so amazingly cool and awesome because we are overwhelmed with decor and Christmas. So every flat space we have is covered in something. So we don't really have a lot more room, but we have room for furniture because furniture is selling relatively quickly, such as we have a um, armoire that we got in in the same day. Hey, Billy, how are you? Same day we got it in, we sold it, yay. So. Uh, we are moving furniture pretty quick, so if you have furniture, give us a shout, let us know, and we'll work with you on getting it in the store, because I do think we could probably help you sell it. Um, what else? Lots of Christmas, new furniture, our special promotion, $5 off if you shop somewhere else, and hey, Marsha, how are you? And you show us your receipt. Um, and then we are going to be featuring some of our um, vendors that would have been at our Christmas party on videos here on this um, Facebook page. Oh, do we have Christmas cards? Oh, <laughs> good job, Catherine. So what was you talking some time off during the holiday? Oh, I, Billy, you missed it. I'm taking uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of Thanksgiving off. And then we do take Christmas Eve and Christmas off. Um, yes, Catherine Lombardaro's ta. Thomas is one of our vendors. She does photo cards and photo um, artwork. And we have some of her packages for Christmas. So we have packs of five and we also have individual cards. So if you guys are looking for some really cute cards, even if they're just cards that you want to send to somebody to make them feel good for the day, we've got some everyday cards and then we have some Christmas cards. We have lots of jewelry, oodles and oodles of jewelry. So if you need a really nice Christmas gift, maybe come check us out or check us out online. Uh, Tammy, my best friend, and I uh, finished tagging a bunch of really cool jewelry that comes in like little sets where it's the earrings and necklace and things. Um, great prices. We're happy to wrap them for you in case you want to just take them directly over to somebody. And again, we have jackets, we have scarves, oodles of scarves. Uh, I love scarves, wear them all the time. And then the jewelry and uh, lots of Christmas. So, 
Whew, that was a lot. I can't think of anything else. Melissa, can you think of anything that I need to mention? Um, I'm not sure if there's anything. It's just interesting weather. But if you're cold and chilly, come on in. Grab a scarf, grab a jacket. We've got good prices. Um, and you can save $5 if you went and shopped somewhere else or help, uh, ate dinner somewhere else. Bring us your receipt from dinner. Tell me a great place to go eat dinner. We do a lot of takeout, Ryan and I. So if you have a great place that you want to woohoo, um, shout out about, let me know because we'll probably try them. And I think that's it. I think that's all I got. But I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you guys, last week was crazy. I hope everybody's taking a deep breath. Whoo, and uh, moving on to the holidays because I'm excited about the holidays. I love holidays and I love this colder weather. It makes me feel good. I got it all. Um, but we have great stuff for the holidays. Really want to try and stay in the spirit. Really want to make everybody feel better. So if you are in the mood to just come visit some very goofy women, that's us. Come visit us at the shop. Better late than never, right? Yes, Chris. Oh, Chris, anytime. Check us out even afterwards. You can look us up on YouTube. Um, but come take us, you know, come check us out. Check out our videos. Uh, look online. We've got lots of stuff. And again, if you are local and you buy something, we will be happy to work out some arrangement to have it delivered to you. Or you can pull up to the curb and we will be walking out to your car. That's it. I gotta go. I'm gonna go home. Put my feet up. Remembered mom and pop shop. Mom and pop shop. Isn't that just all the other little tiny shops that we're talking about? I don't remember. Anyway, okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna go try and remember all this stuff. Gotta be back here early tomorrow. Um, you guys enjoy your night. Thank you so much. You, we got up to like 16 people today. Crazy, I can't believe you guys watch me. Thank you. Uh, all my videos are on my Facebook page, but also we're on YouTube, yourothercloset.com. Our website will connect you to it. If you want to know about any of our special events that are coming on, we do send out emails. We're gonna send one out once a week this month and next month, just so everybody knows what's going on. And if you do wanna be on my um, email list and you're not already, um, call us and give us your email address or maybe email me directly, Kelly, K-E-L-L-I, at your other closet, and we will send you our email so you know what's going on at the shop. And, oh yeah, if you um, need any other information about what we're working on, just let us know. Your word of mouth uh, promotion of my store is fabulous. We appreciate it. Please pass my videos on to other people. Pass our website on to other people. Or bring them in yourself. We have a couple of people who dragged their friends in with them. So, woohoo, that'd be great. Anyway, I'm gonna go. It's been a long day. We'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Please pass my video on to other people. Have a great night, and my next video is Friday afternoon. Woohoo! Bye, guys!